Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. As we finally come back to Gladys, by a science weapon, and uh, return the, 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 the research so we can get... Uh, what do we need to get? The access to Monarch, I think? Anyway. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Mm -mm, I, I, I can't. Um, I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. It, I, uh, about the secrets you asked for. What'd you turn up? The, uh, interesting. I found this fancy toothpaste formula. Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this, but voice not, want not, I suppose. Indeed. Um. Martin Callahan might be interested. Space of Choice is supposedly developing toothpastes now. Martin Callahan. That's because of the emails that we read? I, although I don't remember... Wait. Martin is the, uh... Martin is the, 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 just the clerk. Oh, yeah. Let's help him out. See, uh, see if we tr can anyway. Well, 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 aren't you clever? Thank you, dearie. I might just follow up on that. Please do. Yeah, I acquired some research on Wrapped on Musk, but I found another buyer. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. You didn't do that if for the other one. exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, I also found a prototype weapon schematic from Force, but I lost it as well. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Well, that excursion you sent me was uh, no cakewalk, lady. My Persuasion 94 actually capable... Well, actually, my Persuasion 100. And more than that, in fact, because I have other bonuses, uh, will allow me to do this. Fair's fair. No one ever said old Gladys was a cheapskate. No, ma'am. And I'm not about to let them start. Here. Consider it hazard pay. That... Th I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but... Yeah. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Yep. Um, so I didn't make... I I'm going to have to pay, ain't I? Well, we have things... I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. We have things to sell. We also have a tremendous discount. So I will sell things over here. Uh, but uh, let me take care of that. I might benefit from giving this light machine gun to uh, to Max. I'm not really sure what he uses, but that's pretty good. And also we have a lot of money now. 18,000? That's lovely. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. I know, I know, it's fine. Anytime. Thank you. I want to look. So what do I need to get? Should I be able to... Gracious. Will I be able to buy it? Fantastic. Do be careful with After. the gear. I mean, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. Of course. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Everybody's a dear to Auntie Gladys. She's not auntie of anybody. Anyway, uh, yes, I want to see... I want to see if I have the money to buy all this stuff. So, oh, this... Did I sell the vermin? Oh, no, no, no. That means that my vermin... Doesn't matter. Sure, okay. Well, there it is. Um, because it's not a unique weapon. I thought it might have been. So... That. That's pretty good. It's only 2800 That's a lot cheaper than before. So that's pretty good. That's Felix over here. 
He's got grenade launcher. Could give you that. Yeah. It's probably better. Uh I mean, you're not really ready for this, but uh Parvati. Could give you a pistol? Better than the assault rifle? What am I using? I have a light assault rifle over here. It's higher level though. I mean, I like this one that it has the energy things, but uh, we'll get that out. Hey boss, if you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. That's true. It's the first time we go to a different planet, isn't it? Huh. And yes, it isn't. If it's a moon, then it, it doesn't. Technically, it's a satellite. I think that's the correct term. Uh, so it doesn't count as a planet. Hey, Martin. I received a very interesting message from Gladys Kilkelly not too long ago. You know, about the toothpaste? The Spacer's Choice trustees will be pleased. I might even get an extra meal voucher. And I hear I got you to thank. So thanks. Hey, Bold Martin. As for two meal vouchers. I don't think boldness is really part of our brand. I'd need to check my contract. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You do you, mate. You do you. So we are going... There? Sublight, indeed. Um, I haven't been checking on... On uh, people's na or on people's descriptions and whatnot. Hello, everybody. Is it upstairs? Was it a different level? Quite clearly. So here's the thing about tossball. Tossball is played from the heart. Okay, I'm with you so far. Play from the heart. Easy. There are other schools of thought. Some say you got to use your head to play tossball. Those people have concussions. Oh gosh. That sounds, um, really dangerous. Tossball's a celebration of danger. Take the hacker. The hacker's job is to trample right through the enemy's defense. Best hacker in the league's fella by the name of Take It Easy Tatum. 59 injuries to his name in three non-consecutive seasons. Why do they call him Take It Easy Tatum? Oh, that's what the mediators used to shout out every time he'd go into a bloodthirsty frenzy. She looks so impressed. <laughs> and th yes, they, they defaulted to their normal animations uh, when we exited the elevator, because uh, I don't think that was the intention there, because they were talking to each other. Hey, Tobias. 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 To Welcome back to Sublight, where we make salvage dreams come true. Yay. <laughs> anyway. uh, Hi. If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. Thank you, Tobias. Yes. Uh, yeah, I got an av key to Stellar Bay. Is that job still up for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. Unconventional erotica? How, how unconventional are we talking about here? One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Right. Okay, well, uh, what kind of salvage ore are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after Alta Vitae gas. What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff, 
acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I'll make sure I'll not breathe that or something. I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? What am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Yeah, see? We'll be fine. I'm not sure. She didn't actually... Watch yourself in Stellar Bay, Captain. If you think this neighborhood is rough, Monarch will chew you to shreds. Hmm. I had some questions about the Monarch job. My guy in Stellar Bay had a lead on some salvage. Find the lead and bring it to Catherine Malin at Fallbrook. She'll take it from there. Okay. Ask away, contractor. No, no. Uh, still, I'll be leaving. Huh. See you later, Tobias. Tobias. Felix Millstone, sublight agent. I like the sound of that. You're coming with me. Here's the other thing about Tossball. Tossball? <laughs> it's all about scoring goals. Scoring goals. Got it. And you can score a goal by kicking the ball, throwing the ball, or, uh... Or running it into the Saturday goal, if you're a visitor. Or the Sunday goal, if you're on the home team. Okay, so if you're on the home team, you want to run the ball into the Sunday goal? Makes uh, perfect sense. Yeah. You can also kick it. That's called a foot goal. Or throw it. That's called a hand goal. Running's worth more points, but it's got some risks. You could get cleaved, hacked, winged, bronzed. You could tumble the ball in the Wednesday zone, also known as getting humped. Felix, are we still talking about toss ball or? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. What'd you think we were talking about? <laughs> the, I like the animations on the beginning and the end of that conversation. <laughs> she was just like, mm, I, I am so interested. I'm going to turn my back to you. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then at the end, the, the hand behind behind her head. That was pretty awesome. Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade Company. Sounded dire. They call it Monarch now. It's supposed to be a real hellhole. Warlords drumming up marauder squads, blood running in the streets, all kinds of shit. So it went about as well as everybody expected. Yep. Complete fucking fiasco. Huh. Cool, that was really cool. Was that scripted on purpose? Was that scripted like the like was like smoking the cigarette and all that and then when the conversation is done she threw the cigarette on on the floor and and walked away? Cuz that was very that was very realistic. That was pretty awesome. Uh, and also, evidently, a conversation that we were meant to hear just as we got access to, uh... What was your family like, Felix? Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back bays. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati, who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose that was a touch lonesome. But hey... <laughs> Look at me now. I made it. I got a ship and everything. Huh. You got a ship and everything. I need to get armor for him. <laughs> uh, probably I'll take it from Max. We'll see. Um, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't talk to you. They do, like... I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, they do look at each other a little bit. But, um, but nothing major. So, Sam. There you go. You can't do that. Obviously, you can't do that. That's not a problem, is it? I don't think it is. Probably shouldn't have done that. Streetwear basic for melee weapon skills. Sam, you have equipment. Sam's equipment is permanently attached to his frame and cannot be removed. He also has levels. He has extra intimidate. Threat generated. 
uh, negative reputation per kill. What? Reduce negative reputation for kills when Sam is in the party. He has... Re I didn't know that. I'll give that to him, the cleaner. Extra damage to auto mechanicals. I don't think I have another point. No. Okay. Um, well, what was I looking for? Ellie? Sure. Uh, Ellie also has... When Ellie is in the party, any damage that would kill you instead... Oh, yeah. That's good. She also has clothing. I can change her clothing. Although, this looks pretty distinctive, so... I'll just leave it at that. She also has a helmet for extra inspiration. That's actually a pretty good helmet. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Let's go to the kitchen. See what they were talking about. Maybe we have emails now. Now it's green. So I was watching this serial the other night, yeah? You know that slick-looking spacer from All My Colonists? They got her playing the Queen of the Marauders. Oh gosh, I wish you'd waited for me. I wanted to see that too. Did you spoil it for her? Good to see you, boss. That was rude. Anyway, um... Hey, Sam. Oh. On standby for command. I was gonna say, you're cooking something? That kinda sounds like the frying of things. But it isn't. Yeah. Did I, did I make it? I made it somewhere. I'm not really sure if there's a shortcut there. Anyway. Let's go. Hey, Ada. Uh, Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Good point, yes. Um, put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. I'm just now remembering that I didn't check if I bought the right weapon from Gladys. Um, so I'll see what I can do. It's not like you have been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Eh. I mean, if I lived in space, I'd probably settle on places because of that. Um, hotbed of political activity. Sounds like fun. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, he says. Um, yeah, it wouldn't, make, it wouldn't be good for the game to call itself boring, would it? I mean, even if it's through uh, the dialogue of a character. Even still, you'd be surprised about uh, of how many games actually do call themselves boring, which is really weird, especially when they're raw, right. That's yeah. I got some questions for you. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. And I think I did that already. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. We're leveling up left and right. This is amazing. I wasn't. I was, I, it's great. So we have a, a lot of lies, a lot of intimidations. Uh, we can focus on the hacking. I suppose that wouldn't be a bad, th uh, bad thing. Maybe it would be. What exactly do I get out of the extra one? Hack auto mechanicals, turn them off for 10.6 seconds. I need them to be turned off permanently. That's uh, like in Fallout, in Fallout 1 and 2, which is a thing that I didn't know. I played Fallout 1 and 2 all my life, and only because I did it on camera, and people told me that you can do that, did I actually learn. Uh, but that's pretty cool. What do we have over here? Uh, seize what's inside the lock containers. That doesn't really matter. Lock beacon speed is increased. That doesn't really matter either. Find prestige item chance 100% increase. That is kind of better. That is a little bit better. Uh, so we have handguns and long guns. Yeah, we could focus on this. 
go for that, for the adept one. Sounds good to me. Go up a little bit on the intimidation. I mean, the lie is also pretty good. I think, I think I'm going to leave intimidation for just the occasional opportunity and whatnot. Uh, okay, so I like this one and I like that one. Is that how it works? Yes. So we have two that we might pick because we have three. So we have five until we have that. So vendor price goes up. Buying price, right. Uh, bonus for extra headshots, weak spot damage. Bonus to extra headshot. Oh, the damage. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oof. That is very nice. I got in the same level up. I got extra, extra damage for weak spots. That's pretty good. I like that. And then we have uh, speed movement, science weapon damage. Speaking of which, let's go into that and see what we got. Did I not buy it? Or did I give it to people already? I did, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. No, I did not. Right, we'll go, we're going back there anyway, so, uh, well, I assume we are. We need to, because it's Junlei. Well, I assume we're going. So, uh, good stuff. Oh, no, not, I mean, that would be going back there. <laughs> Let's go to Monarch. So we have the relay that we've been to. Uh, we have Phineas's, Phineas's lab over there. We have Scylla up there. And we have actual Monarch. Scylla is one of the largest asteroids orbiting Alcyon, the largest in a grouping of rocks known as the Charybdis Car Cluster. Hephaestus Mining once claimed the asteroid, but its uh, prospecting site was abandoned decades ago. Wait a minute, I have access to that and have all his head? Let's do it. We're going to the landing pad there. We're going onto an actual asteroid? Wait, we didn't travel. Click on cancel. Off we go. Through the moon, through the sun. Destination reached. Scylla. I'm not a big fan of the screen actually going away because I always look down because I'm moving the mouse around. So that's an asteroid, all right. It's got debris all over the place. Which wouldn't this doesn't this wouldn't make this wouldn't happen in space because gravity has little a pull as it has because it does have very little much of a pull uh, as little as as little as it is it would still attract the bodies together and if it wouldn't then they would go elsewhere and uh, yeah man but this is Ford had an asteroid mining operation out here. I wonder what happened to him. Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway. Did they? Holy crap. Do we have a shield around us? We might. I was going to say the depth of field, though. I don't know how they... They do have... They're using tremendous depth of field for this. I think. Man, it looks amazing. Never, I'm not. I'm just looking at the background, not even about the about this thing. This is, I mean, holy crap! Oh, I'm. I'm gonna say this is the best looking place we've been. Just, I mean, from a just a conceptual standpoint. Not that the other ones don't look good, and that does make saying it a little bit more difficult because they're they're. I really like... Can you not do that? I really like... You guys alright? What? Parvati? What have you done? Okay. To Alex, I was gonna say. Um... No, oh, this is a, a huge area. Okay. Good enough. Don't make noises at me! Let's see what this computer has to say. And also, we know where to go, so we're not going there. Argos Traffic Systems. Status operational. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Remote landing. Let's see what we can find. 
didn't we have a better amplification of this? I don't know. There's no enemies down there. There are shadows, though. Proper engines have shadows. Even distant shadows. Bad engines don't have shadows. Even closed shadows. Did you hear that, Bethesda? Did you hear that, Bethesda? They don't. They, they don't. They don't do that. Uh. Okay. We've just found a location. We got a lot of, uh... Compressed steel and whatnot. What is this? It's an elevator. So what the shield might be understood as uh, is probably a gravity field or, of some sort. Because gravity over here seems pretty, pretty Earth-like. Because we jump, basically. The same and whatnot. And it would be. It's a small asteroid. It would have very, very little pull. Because planets are... Well, gravity is weird. Gravity is really weird. Are we going upstairs? Let's not go upstairs right now. We're going in there. Oh, there's enemies. Yeah. I figured. Not peep for me. Well, you you are you are peeping quite a lot. Machine? Oh, that's what we found, wasn't it? There's machines all over by now. Okay, so we have uh the assault rifle, the plasma one. Are we fighting auto mechanicals? Or animals? Because there's sprats. Can't see them. Man, that thing makes noise. They're auto mechanicals. And outlaws. <laughs> it didn't, did it? Yeah! That's what you get! <laughs> it is. Okay, it also means that this is a uh, relatively peaceful area down here because nobody actually came up to us, which I was expecting. This thing just makes the noisiest of noises. And that sounds like they're fighting up there. There's a robot over here. Combat drone. Is it my team? No, they're not damaged. They have m mega sprats that ha that ate cigarette lighters and whatnot. Holy crap! Oh hi! That was a uh, an enemy. Don't ask me what was going on. I don't understand what was going on. Why they were running weirdly? Okay. Let's see what we have. Nothing over here. We got tiny sprats. Rabid sprats. Those do look different. They're... How did you manage to take down a freighter this big? As if our little pea shooters could bring down these beasts. Nah, we found it here. The outlaws are talking. Found it? What's a company freighter doing on Scylla? Uh, it's an old circus time ship. Some sort of traveling primal show. Someone was dumb enough to trap themselves in a ship with a load of primals? What the hell for? Beats me. Got a uh, broadsheet lying around here somewhere that talks about it, if you're interested. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to look at that broadsheet. Uh, that's... I... That's not what I... Sheet and shit. Those are... There's an arm over here. The, I'm, I'm not a native speaker. May I be forgiven about saying things? Okay... Sublight thugs. You ever get tired of place like uh, of this place? It's a little bleak, right? And looking at the stars, if you're bored, at least Harlow keeps it interesting. We get to strip a lot of interesting freighters, right? Harlow, and that these guys are talking, even though they are aggressive. That is sort of promising. It's not going to be a simple. Come in and shoot up everybody. What was that? Looks like we're doing this. Oh, they're coming. Uh, 
Whoa. This weapon leaves a mark. Did you Oh, there's still people. That's the last of them. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't able to loot. Ooh, there's a found something clothing with something. Armor parts and whatnot. This guy didn't leave anything though, that's why I wasn't able to loot. Okay, what exactly did we get there with our clothing? Protective clothing with safety harness, gold ar aramid ballistics for extra dialogue skills. Not too shabby. D does it look good? No. I don't like it. I need brighter colors. Well, at least brighter accents. I'm not necessarily... A well, I was going to say I'm not necessarily a fan of just plain, big, bright color clothing. That's not really true. It's not that I use it very often, but... But, uh, just get me a bright orange shirt. I have a bright orange shirt. Or a bright purple shirt. I also have a bright purple shot, uh, shirt. I had a, a bright green shirt once. And then I don't know what happened to it. And I like that shirt a lot. And now I don't have it. Such tragedy. You know what else is a tragedy, though? The end of the episode. It's it's here. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been... Uh, hopefully not a tragedy. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. Um, and, and don't forget to leave a comment down below uh, as well. Oh, and by the way, we have a star so close, we wouldn't be able to see these stars because it's daytime. And contrary to popular belief, the reason why we can't see the stars during the day is not because of the refraction of our atmosphere. It's because of just the freaking sun is being in the sky and it outshines everything else and it's it just how it is. Uh, because it works in space as well, like astronauts outside the atmosphere and in, in the moon, in fact. Uh, they don't they don't see the, uh, the stars if it's daytime for them. But it looks very pretty. We can see the uh, Andromeda galaxy. That one is. Uh, well, it looks like it. It might not be. I don't know. The colors look. Anyway, I'm, it's the outro. I'm, we're done with the episode. Bye.